Well, welcome back. When you think organic, food and recycling usually come to mind, right? But did you know some Central Texans are going organic when it comes to plastic surgery? And joining us this morning to talk about this new trend is Dr. Malin Kerr, a plastic surgeon with Synergy Plastic Surgery. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So I've never heard of this. What is organic plastic surgery? So organic plastic surgery is the idea of using your own body to meet your plastic surgery needs. So organic basically comes from the term uh, organism being it's from uh, you and organic also kind of replies to being green, being recycling and so we're actually able to take fat, recycle it from other areas of your body you don't want and put it to places you do want. So Sounds simple enough. Yeah. So, so recycling your own fat, can you put this Anywhere? You can put it a lot of places. Okay. Um, I would say clearly the most common places uh, are going to be the, the breast area, the buttocks, and the face. Uh, but you can put it in hands. Hands, uh, as we age, we start to see tendons and veins in our hands, and that's a, a clear sign that someone's getting a little bit older. Mm -hmm. So the fat just allows you to really rejuvenate those areas. So in the face, we look at cheeks, into the folds, places where people would traditionally get a filler or a artificial substance. Um, which has its purposes, but fat, uh, it can be permanent, will last uh, the rest of your life, and uh, works like the rest of the fat in your body. If you gain weight, it'll get bigger. If you lose weight, it'll get smaller. And so the application for breasts and buttock is also uh, tremendous, and, and those are uh, things that are really starting to take off in the Austin area. Mm -hmm. And you sent out some photos, so if you could walk me through what some of these pictures are, if we could get those up in just a second. And you also tell me that this is becoming more and more popular. Yeah, I mean, even in this last week, I've probably had about a half dozen people uh, ask me about it, and uh, that was from, you know, maybe one person a year, uh, years ago. Um, as we were talking earlier, I did my first fat transfer in about 2008, um, and it's just steadily become uh, more popular, mm -hmm. okay? Um, so All we've, right, we've got the pictures up now. So the, the process of uh, organic plastic surgery is basically taking your own fat, and we do that with liposuction. And I should add that this is a minimally invasive type of surgery. So basically we are making very, very small incisions, um, many of which are not even noticeable, or we use needles to actually make the incisions rather than an actual scalpel. And we harvest the fat, and then we harvest that fat into IV bags, and we centrifuge it. And you can see that picture uh, of me with the handheld centrifuge in it. And we're basically separating the fat out from the surrounding blood and serum mm -hmm. so that we can just get the cells. And then those cells are basically placed into the bag and then re-injected into the areas of the body that, that we want to add the volume to. Interesting. So. Is this pricier than the traditional? Well, it depends. So if you um, are doing for perhaps a, a traditional breast augmentation where we would use an implant, well, the implant is expensive and it has to be purchased. So if we can repurpose your fat, uh, then that makes it uh, clearly less expensive because we're not spending money uh, on, a, on an implant or other product like that. So Very interesting. Well, Dr. Kerr, thank you so much for coming in this morning and enlightening us all. And we'll have this information on our website as well. Uh